Hey everybody, I'm Mark McNamara and I'm here with one of, not only one of, the star of the SWORD's first mission. It's exclusive Andre Donovan. Hi, Andre. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm well. Where are you? Are you in New York? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Holla. <laughs> right across the river. All right. I have some questions about okay. this little movie we filmed together. Yes. April 29th, 2022. We were in Paris together. What happened? Oh, we were in Paris, one of the most beautiful romantic cities in the world. And we like, you brought out your camera and we like did some acting and did some scenes and had sex with some hot guys and got paid for it. It was great. You got paid? <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce, Beyonce, are you happy to be in Paris? Okay, so you were the one um, character that carried over from the first swords that we filmed in Lake Tahoe. Mm -hmm. Were you nervous about this next movie, knowing what we went through with the first one? Um, a little bit, yeah, like a little like nervous, but also like excited, a, a combination of the two, just because I knew that um I would be sort of like like leading this storyline. Um, that the company only brought over two American models, so I don't know. To me, that felt like that says a lot. So that was kind of like a little bit of pressure, like oh, there's only two American models from um, Falcon being brought overseas to film this movie so that's you know that's kind of an important uh, role to play um and just I mean I don't know like anytime I'm doing a movie with you I know that it's going to be involved um in a good way but you know there's going to be like a lot to be expected there's going to be um dialogue there's going to be character work there's going to be scene stuff you know like you love like you love your movies to be active um so like <laughs> um which I which I enjoy um, but so, yeah, yeah, I definitely was a little bit nervous, but but more so just really, really excited. I had always wanted to go to Paris and I always like making uh, naked sword films. What was your favorite scene to film? Hmm. I mean, I really, really loved um, the scene with me and Dean when we were like in that beautiful like courtyard. I think it was like Palace of Versailles or wherever we were. I forget exactly where we were, but we um <laughs> we got to like play, you know, off of being like these like, you know, well-known porn models, but we're like undercover for the secret mission. But then we see some fans. It was really, really fun. I, I like, I enjoyed doing that. And I mean, it was just, we were the setting, like we were in this beautiful part of the city. There were all these like tourists, but also locals walking around. It's a beautiful sunny day. I had on polka dots, which is like my favorite pattern. So, you know, it was, it was a really, really fun scene to film. I co-signed. That was one of my favorite ones to film too. It was such a beautiful location and you guys nailed it. You really had a lot of dialogue in that moment and you just had to go for it and you guys did a really good job. So congratulations. That was fun. Also, it was really fun too. The, where were we when we filmed all that like golden stuff where like Kate was like following me around. We were in like the music building. Oh, the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, that was really pretty too. That, that was, was just beautiful. like that was not fun for me though. Oh, <laughs> was the pain in the ass to film to just get, to be able to isolate you two. It was just like a lot of waiting. And yes, it was just like patience, which my patients are not great. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people were talking about that position where you're holding Dean up in the air, and yes. a lot the of Nelson, the full Nelson. Yeah, a lot of people say, like, oh my God, that looks so uncomfortable, but that was actually y'all's idea. It was. You've done that before? Um, I have, I've done it once, once or twice before um, in previous scenes. It's not the most comfortable position. It's really difficult. It's very athletic, but I think it looks great and it's really impressive. And I, any chance I'm with a scene partner that I can possibly do that position, I'm going to try it. And I know I've seen lots of Dean's uh, films because I'm a big fan of Dean. I always have been. And um, he's done that position quite a bit. And so I was like, well, me and Dean are filming together. He's hot, he's little. I'm, I have a lot of upper body strength. I was like, let me see if this is something that we can do together. And so, yeah, we just tried it and it, and it, and it worked. And um, yeah, it was, it was our idea. In fact, Dean, I'm pretty sure I remember him saying it's like one of his favorite positions to do. He did say that. So, um, so yeah, it's not, it's not easy. You gotta have the right, um, the right scene partner, the right, um, uh, like weight and height and you know all that stuff's got to be you got to be well rested you go you know you got like all that stuff so it's it's not an easy position but it's um but it's a fun one they do it a lot in straight porn and I watch a lot of straight porn so I was like oh this is hot I want to do it good for you 
Okay, you've had, <laughs> you've had three sex scenes in the Sword series, one with Michael Boston, one yes. with Dean Young, and then one with Danny. Fuck, Mary kill, Michael, Danny, Dean. I'm gonna fuck Dean. I'm gonna marry Danny. I'm gonna kill Michael Boston. <laughs> what did he do? He was the bad guy in the first one. He tried to kill me. That's true, that's fair enough. I for nine. <laughs> so I've started writing the finale for the Sword. <laughs> it's two part finale. Obviously, you're in it. What are you nervous about? What are you scared of? What do you give me your thoughts going into this blind? Um, hmm. what am I scared about? Nervous about for the finale? Nothing in particular. I mean, I like to kind of think of myself as the Nev Campbell of the Sword series. So, so like, have enough money for you. <laughs> sword to sword to scream. I'm I'm Sydney Prescott, and. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just, you know, I'm just hopeful that I'll make it to the end, you know, even though it might be kind of fun and cool to like die in a movie. I've never done that before. Um, but I hope that I get to be the final girl. The final girl, right or die. <laughs> okay. In the movie, you're fighting yes. with Cade because he's developing this truth pill. Yes. If you had this pill and you could <laughs> give it to anybody and ask them a question and they had to tell you the truth, who would you give it to and what are you asking? I would give the pill to Britney Spears, <laughs> obviously, yeah. and I would ask Britney out of all the guys she's been like, you know, linked with, who had the biggest dick? Would oh. it be her husband Sam Asgari? Maybe Justin? You know who? That guy Justin she married in one. Vegas for like a couple of hours. Like who had the biggest dick? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I would say Sam. I would say her, the guy she like the guy she's married to right now. Sam Asgari looks like he would have a large penis to me. If I had to guess, I think just from hearing from people who know some of these people, I think it's Justin. Really? Justin does have a big dick. He does not give me big dick energy at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. That's. But funny. I mean, hey, good for him. <laughs> I didn't good. get the pill, so maybe I'm lying. All right. <laughs> Check out Andre Donovan in The Swords and The Swords First Mission on Naked Sword. And we will see you in the finale. Bye, Andre. Yay! Bye, Mark.